Hello everyone, welcome to This Week in TRS-80 for the 20th of December 2018. This will be my last video for this year. The next one will be in around two weeks time when I return to work in January. Um, if you want your uh, questions answered in the form of a video, your TRS-80 questions, send them through to me, I read them all. Uh, okay, so this week's uh, questions come from, the first one's from Jeff from Indiana, he's asking about uh, the video games uh, on the TRS-80 Model 1 and 3. His question is um, that he has a Fred and he plays the games and he's wondering if uh, there's a way to exit out of most of the games or do you just press reset? And the answer is you just press reset, reboot the system and load a new game. The reason for that is that most games on the TRS-80 Model 1 and 3 were um, released on cassette or on disc and they are, um, uh, they were designed for to be loaded and um, not exited back to an operating system or the basic prompt. So when they were converted from cassette or from self-booting disc into CMD files to load on the on um, uh, floppy disks or, or a hard drive emulator uh, there's no exit routine so it's perfectly all right when you're sick of the game press reset on the computer boot it and load the next game uh, let's see the next question is from Jim from Ohio he wanted to know what the differences are between the original model 1 RS232 serial interface and the reproduction one that I make so I've got one of each here I'll show you both of them so this is Radio Shack's one here. Um, what it has is uh, an Aztec um, voltage uh, uh, step up from 5 volts to 12 volts. Uh, it also has a dip switch bank here for manual setting of the board rate and a term comm switch here which uh, switches uh, lines 2 and 3 on the serial port. Uh, most people just leave that set and never do anything with the switch and most software for um, for uh, that we use these days for, um, for communications has software settings for the uh, for the board rate so uh, what that means is in order to simplify it to become this we've left out the switches and um, and replace the uh, the voltage step up with a, a new smaller modern one. Uh, the, some other important things about these as well all the important chips like the UART board rate generator and the line drivers are all socketed they're the ones that frequently um, you can possibly burn out so they're easy to replace on this and also to make it nice and reliable you can probably just see it there it's got a gold plated connector so uh, one less connector on your model one to worry about um, you know causing a problem with um, with uh, oxidization of connectors so these are uh, available from me now and um, if you're after one of these just send me an email okay so that's the differences between the two RS232s and final question for today Peter from New South Wales asked if there's a way to connect up the Orchestra 90 reproduction uh, that I'm making in conjunction with a Fred. Uh, yes, there is. If you have a look on uh, on YouTube at the moment, I've put up a video of a mo of my Model 4D running with a Fred and uh, an Orchestra 90 together. Basically, the way that uh, that you get it connected is with your Orchestra 90. We've got a 40-pin connector here. The end marked K1 is pin one. And we get a standard hard drive interface cable add another connector here within the, the cable this is a 50 pin connector red stripe marks pin 1 K1 marks pin 1 plug them in together like so and there you are you just connect that up and you can put your um, music playing software on your Fred and play it out of the uh, out of the Orchestra 90. So the, thank you for watching these um, this uh, episodes that I've done early on 
these first five episodes for 2018. I'll be back next year in 2019 with more of them. If you've got questions about the TRS-80 that you want answered in the form of a video, send them through. Um, and uh, don't forget to click subscribe and uh, ring the bell.